When it comes to rock, Happy the Man is Washington's rising star. They've got a new sound, a different act. In a matter of weeks, they'll release their first album on Arista, a top recording label. And they've got the right managers. Washington's Cellar Door Productions. Exactly how the group should tour. And look at the exposure. You're going to appear in 11 separate colleges in three or four separate states, three or four different states. The exposure is invaluable. And, of course, you're going to get your act tighter. I know you think everything in the group is tight now, but it's obviously going to help you because it's the first time you've appeared before crowds of over a 1,000 people. A couple of weeks ago, Happy the Man took their act on the road for the first time, calling their music commercial avant-garde. Our music is commercial in the sense that all kinds of people like it. People who are into boogie bands, jazz bands, people from 10 years old clear up to 60. Avant-garde-wise, it's crazy. First stop on the tour was Harrisonburg, Virginia, the place where Happy the Man was born. We, we want to be successful. Yeah, we want to be able to eat and pay our bills and be able to make good music. And if anything, if I panic or anybody panics, I can tell them to go to the stage to tell you anything that happens. Yeah, I know. It's, it's cool right now, you know. We're, you know, we're not going to compromise the music. That's the one thing we've never compromised. Like, the music is about us. It's about our, our growing and living experiences. It's, it's always progressing. Yeah, it, it should be a real good show. You got to knock them out. Knock them dead. <laughs> takes a lot of energy is is being able to stay with the moods of the music because they change so quickly in order for the music to come off all of the moods have to be felt and have to be genuine and i think a lot of times that really shows and makes a difference between a good or bad performance I just freaked out one night, got into percussion, and yeah, I've been going ever since. It's neat because I like to combine movement, dance, mime. Putting that into one is what I really want to do, which I'm working on. It blows me away. It's dino.
to have an audience get excited about our music to me is a very exciting, exhilarating experience and it makes me want to go back out and do it again, you know. It makes me high. And happy is that man who does become a star. Starland.